Hi there, this is Aaron from socialphototalk.com and I'm excited to show you a few new features in WordPress 2.9. The WordPress blogging platform has always allowed the ability to add images and other media to your blog posts and with 2.9 they've added some nice image manipulation tools directly into WordPress that allow you to perform some basic functions such as cropping, resizing, rotation, and flipping without using any plugins or third-party software. Let's take a look at the new features. What I have here is a basic WordPress 2.9 installation. I've put a theme on it, but I basically have the Hello World post up. I'm going to click on Site Admin to go to the dashboard screen. I'm already logged in, and so what I see is the familiar WordPress dashboard that looks pretty similar to the ones in previous versions. If I click on the Media menu over on the left-hand side, you'll see that my media library shows up. I'm going to click on the Add New link, which will bring up the uploader for a new piece of media. Nothing has changed here. I'm going to browse to my computer, pick a file to upload from a photo shoot that I did for a charity event in our area recently. Once the file is uploaded, you'll see the same type of metadata, thumbnail, description, alt text, that you've seen in previous versions of WordPress. I'm going to click the Save button at the bottom of the screen to make sure that gets saved to my image library. And what you're then going to see is when you go back to the image library, if I click on the edit screen, the edit menu I should say, I go back to that similar screen. I'm now going to click the edit image button and this will take us to the new features. When I click on edit image, I'm shown a copy of the photo that I uploaded and I have a few different tools I can now use to manipulate that photo. Let's start off by taking a look at the scale image function, which is in the upper right section of this screen. When I click on Scale Image, a pop-out appears that allows me to specify new dimensions for the image. Originally this was at 1024 pixels wide. Let's say hypothetically that I wanted to resize that down to 800 pixels wide. I can go in here, put 800 in for my new width, and you'll see that it automatically updated the height of the photo in order to maintain the same aspect ratio. When I click the Scale button, it calculates a bit and resizes the photo. You'll see that I now have a second link that's shown up below Scale Image. By clicking on Restore Original Image, I can discard the changes that I made and revert the photo to the original size. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. The other function that you can do with regards to sizing and cropping is cropping. And the Image Crop tool is a little different than most tools that I've used in other image editing programs such as Photoshop or the GIMP in that um, you have a few different ways that you can do it. One option is if you just start clicking and dragging anywhere on the photo without doing anything else it automatically starts that image crop tool. So if I wanted to create you know some sort of mug shot here of Rick's head I can click and drag on the photo I can click and drag to move my selection around to basically get that centered on his head. And then over on the right hand side I have a couple different options as far as specifying exact values. One option is that you can specify an aspect ratio. So if I wanted that to be exactly square, I could come into these boxes and put in a one to one aspect ratio. It would automatically adjust the crop size. The other option is that if you want to have it be a specific number of pixels in your selection, I could come in here. If I had a need that required I to submit a 350 by 350 pixel image, I could do that here. And it will again automatically adjust your crop size. When you're all done adjusting your crop, you click on the crop tool above the photo to save your changes. And now I have an up close view of Rick's head. I'm going to click on the Cancel button down at the bottom, which is going to discard the changes that I've made to the image. I'm going to then click Edit Image to go back into the Image Editor and show you some other features. In addition to performing a crop, there's a couple other features you can do. Up above the photo, you'll see that there are two rotation buttons. They're the second and third buttons from the left. The one on the left is a rotate counterclockwise. The one in to the right of that is a rotate clockwise button. These perform as you would expect. They're going to flip your photo on the side and I'm going to click that right now to watch that in action. 
In addition to doing the rotations, you'll see there's now a button over here near the right, the second one from the right that's become available with a backward arrow. This is an undo button. This is going to revert the last change that I made to the image. So when I click on that, my image is no longer rotated to the side. In addition to rotation, there's one other feature that you can use. And these are the features to flip the photo either vertically or horizontally. So if you have a photo that you need to turn the other direction, you can use these buttons. If I wanted to make Rick and Cammie stand on their head, one click of that button and Rick and Cammie are hanging from the ceiling. Rick and Cammie are going to be doing a 30-hour telethon podcast. And so, you know, if things get a little crazy, maybe they'll end up hanging from their heads. I'm going to hit that again to make them right side up. You can also flip horizontally if I decided that I wanted Cammie to be to the left side of Rick. When you're all done with the changes that you've made, maybe you've done some uh, rotations, some flips, maybe you've decided you wanted to crop it down and only show a photo of Cami. When you've made all those changes, you're all done. You can simply click the Save button down at the bottom, and it'll save that image. And when you click Update Media, that's the image that's now going to show in your image library. As with previous versions of WordPress, at this point you could go in, create a new post, and add the image to your post, taking advantage of the edits that are built into WordPress 2.9. This certainly isn't going to replace Photoshop or Lightroom for my professional image editing functions, but there's a lot of times when I might have a quick and dirty image that I just want to throw into a post real easily. Maybe just do a little bit of a crop and get it online quickly, and having these functions built into WordPress will really be a big help. Again, my name is Aaron. I'm with socialphototalk.com, and this has been a tour of the new image manipulation features in WordPress 2.9. Thanks.